Hello, my name is Peter Raymer. Today we're going to look at how to update data from Excel in D365. So in the last lesson, we looked at how we can export data to Excel. You can look at it, explore, do some sums, etc. But um, what if you actually wanted to modify the data in Excel, make some changes and publish that data back to D365? Um, wouldn't that be great? Fortunately, that feature exists, and so I want to show you how to do that if you've never used that before. In general, you do want to use D365 to update data, make the majority of your changes. It's got validation and a lot of other functionality that's just going to make it a little faster if you're making single individual record changes. However, there might be some scenarios where it makes sense to edit that data in Excel. Maybe you want to use the find and replace functionality of Excel, which the shortcut of that is control H. Um, you can get a pop-up where it asks you what you want to find as well as what you want to replace it with. And maybe in mass, you want to quickly find and replace a bunch of records and publish that data back. Um, Excel could definitely help you in that scenario. Um, let's take a look. Let's look at an example. So we're going to, again, go to the all customers form. It's just an easy one that everyone has. So you can either type all customers into this top bar or you can go to accounts receivable customers all customers so i'll go ahead and click on this to bring up our all customers form once we're on this form um, we can review the columns that uh, are going to be exported that we can edit so the ones that will get to Excel are the ones that are in this grid. So like last lesson, if you want to change which columns you need to edit, go ahead and right click and say insert columns. Or if you want to hide some, you can right click hide this column. Um, but make sure that you've got all the columns in this grid that you want to be editing um, because those are what's going to end up in Excel, not every single field from the customers automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these the same and then let's go to open in Excel. So the way I do that is again, I'm going to come up to this open in Microsoft Office button. I'm going to click on it. It's going to give me a few different options. Last time we went to export to Excel. This gives me a kind of a read only view. In this case, we want to be able to update it back. So I'm going to click on this open Excel customers USRT click on that. Now I'm going to click this download button to be able to download um, the file. Now that I've done that, it's going to actually download a file in the bottom left, a little bit behind my picture here, and then I'm going to click on it to open it up. If this is the first time that you're opening this, you're going to get a button in this add-on over on the right hand side that uh, you need to click where you're going to say, hey, I trust this Microsoft Dynamics add-on. Then it's going to ask you to sign in using the same username and password that you use to log into Dynamics. The reason for that is we need to give Excel permission to read this data. After you do that, the system's going to refresh Excel with all the data from um, this customer here. And actually it looks like I do get a whole lot more columns than I thought we get all these here. That's awesome. Um, I believe these are all the columns that are in this customer's V3 data entity. Um, so if you need to, you can click this refresh button in the bottom right to update this data with the latest. Um, but then from here, we can actually make changes. So I'm going to come over to this organization name column and I see this hockey stadium. Let's just say I wanted to change its name. I'm just going to add a two to the end of that hockey stadium. Um, maybe instead, like I said before, you could push control H. You could do a big find and replace of certain kinds of data. Um, and then any of these changes that you're going to make on any of these columns um, can get updated back into D365. And so the way we do that is we actually come back down to this add-in and specifically there's this publish button right here. I'm going to go ahead and push it 
and you're going to see beneath it, it says publish successful workbook updated. So that was awesome. That was really fast. I can then minimize this Excel in case I want to make some further changes later um, and then bring back D365. Once I'm here, though, you'll notice if I scroll down, the Hockey Stadium 2 hasn't been updated. Hmm, what's with that? Um, the reason is it actually has been updated in the underlying database, but no one has told this form that that data has changed yet. So I can do one of two things. I can either click the reload button on my browser and that'll reread from the database, but it'll kind of lose my place and where I've scrolled. Um, or kind of a better way to do it is there is this refresh button in the top right corner here. If I click that, it won't reload the entire page. It'll just reread the data that we're seeing in this grid. So notice it says Hockey Stadium right now, but after I click refresh, it goes back to the data. And sure enough, now it says Hockey Stadium 2. So again, Excel can be a really great tool for updating data. Um, I definitely recommend you kind of know when it makes sense to do it in Excel and when it makes sense to keep using the front end grid system. There definitely are scenarios where um, it can be faster to make those changes in mass and Excel. And we'll look at um, some other ways you can work with um, files importing and exporting in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. If you like the video, click the like button. I also invite you to push the subscribe button as well. If there's other topics you would like to see a video on, please post in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.